Hey y'all, it is Keisha from Powdered by K. Marie, and today we are talking about AT&T cellular business line. Let's get into it. Okay, first things first, if you are a new business looking to start building business credit, or if you are an established business looking to add more trade lines, click the link in the comment below and start your process, honey. Mm. Okay, so let's talk about AT&T cellular business line. Okay, so I wanted to make this video to kind of talk about the pros and cons of switching um, or applying. You may not even have AT&T, uh, but seeing if it's worth it to get an AT&T business line. So I have a personal account through AT&T right now. And what I wanted to know is if there would be like any added benefit switching my personal line to my um to a business line so i did my research and i actually also went into a physical retail store to gather um, to talk to someone and gather more information and then i came up with this conclusion honey okay so first things first um uh, when it comes to applying for a business line, you you don't get anything different from a personal account, okay? Um, the only difference that the personal account and the business account has is they waive the activation fees for each line. So say you go in and you need three lines and there's a $25 or a $30 activation fee. I can't remember which one, but it's $25 or $30 activation fee for each line. What they do when you apply for a business account is they waive those fees. So that is a plus, you know, because you're saving some coin, okay? Um, but that's pretty much the only difference as far as, like, perks. Um, you still qualify for the same, like, um, promotions if they have like a cell phone promotion so like um, let's say if you have a Samsung they run a lot of promotions on Samsung and if it's like get $500 off when you get the newest Samsung or iPhone whatever you get those promotions on the personal side as well as the business side so that doesn't change um, but they do waive those activation fees um, so um, that's pretty much the main perk um, with getting the business line, you don't get any additional like uh, discounts or any perks uh, to having that business line. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much like the main point of the video, <laughs> but I wanted to kind of talk about um, why I would recommend getting this line and why I would not recommend getting this line. Um, so first things first is if, if you are, if it's just you, okay? Like for example, if it's just me, um, the benefit to switching to a business account from personal to business is writing off the amount on my cell phone okay so, um so that's a that's probably the main perk as to why i would switch over uh to a business account just so that everything is under my business name it's not under my personal information and i can just present the bill or whatever tally it up at the end of the year to my cpa and then they have that total of what i paid throughout the year um, especially if you use, like, if you need internet or any additional stuff for your business, you can write that off, okay? Um, so that would be the main perk. Um, so I recommend it for also businesses who need to have, they have multiple employees or staff and they all need to have their own business line. I feel like businesses like that would benefit because you can have everyone's account under the business. You get those activation fees waived. And um, since the company is paying for the whole entire bill, but you have employees, you have other lines, it just helps you to keep track of all your lines. You write the whole thing off again, 
um, the whole amount off at the end of the year for the lines. But now you have control of um, the business lines and what things could be used for. So for me, that would be the biggest um, reason for someone to apply for AT&T business line is if they had a business where they had employees and they needed their employees to have their own business line for whatever reason. Um, everyone can get a new phone or the latest or whatever and the owner can write off and keep track of that expense, okay? Okay, um, why I would not recommend AT&T business line is because to my knowledge and understanding, it does not report, okay? Um, it doesn't report to Dun & Bradstreet um, or any other business credit bureau. Um, the only way it, so that's if you're a positive, if your account is in positive standing. So um, if you now have a negative account, like where you don't pay or whatever, then they report. So they don't report positive um payment history but they will report the negative so for me that's a big deal because i would want to get rewarded for being uh, for having a good payment history with a company um you know as well as if i was to like mess up they would report that too so i don't think it's fair to report if i do something that is negative or default on a payment, whatever, but she's not going to report when I'm like giving you the money every month, you know? So, and obviously the reason for wanting to have a business account is to build that business credit, to be able to get the things that you need in order to um, advance in your business. So uh, that for me would probably be um, the number one reason why I would not recommend it. But for writing off purposes, for businesses who have employees and they need their own cellular line, I do think that uh, it would possibly be worth it. Okay, um, so those are the main um, points to uh, AT&T business line. So I will let y'all decide, you know, for my AT&T users, if it's worth it for you to switch over. I haven't fully decided yet what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm still like contemplating about that. But I would like to, all, for all of my business accounts, I would like for them to report to some business credit bureau. So that way they can, I can build up that relationship, that trust. Obviously, we all know, you know, what benefits we can get out of it. So if I'm going to do anything as far as business account and applying for them, I would want a benefit from it, too. So I don't see um, too many benefits for getting an AT&T cellular business account. I haven't looked into like Internet and other features um, because that's not where I am right now. So, um, nothing else would be of benefit to me, but maybe for those who need like high speed internet or, you know, whatever, maybe it, there will be a benefit. Um, but stay tuned. Um, cause when I make a decision, if I decide to do it or not, I'll probably make another video. So, um, yeah, we'll see when that happens when I get good and ready, you know, <laughs> All right, so listen, if you like this video, like it, okay, comment, talk to me. If you have any other information in regards to this topic, definitely drop the info in the comments because I would love to hear from y'all, you know? And then um, if you like me, honey, subscribe, okay? Hit that button, hit the notification button, okay, that bell. So when I post, you'll get an alert, you know? And yes, let's be friends, okay? So again, if you are looking to add more trade lines, start building business credit, hit the link in the comment below. Also, there's other links down in the description box. Feel free, okay, to just go and take a tour in my description box, you know? <laughs> All right, and with that being said, until next time, bye.